Hello everyone, my name is Nicole from LadyPreferstoSave.com and this handsome guy right here is Daniel, my husband and partner in crime for all of our awesome Weekend Warrior projects. And as you know, we are a minimalist family and one of our favorite things to do on the weekends is working on an upcycle project. And so this weekend we are working on an upcycled pot rack for our kitchen made out of nothing other than antique shutters. The project cost us less than $3 to make and it helps keep a few things out of the landfill, which we really like. Also to keep in mind, this project is part of another collab tagged and started by Roxanne of the Guys Life. She has an amazing channel as well as all the other ladies in the collab. So once this video is over, look down in the description bar and check out everybody else in the playlist for some other amazing videos. And so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, to get started, you will need three pieces of board about 16 inches by one inch. I used pieces that we already had around the house, so they were reclaimed. I also used an e-cloth, a hammer, a drill, and a small wedge of wood that we ended up not needing, but sometimes you might need a counterweight if you're putting a lot of really heavy pots and pans, especially cast iron, on your rack. And of course, the piece de resistance would be the set of shutters that we reclaimed from the side of the road. I mean, the patina on these are absolutely gorgeous and I love them. And last but not least, you will of course need some hooks to hang up everything on your rack. So what you will see here is the space that we are putting it in. And actually our oven recently went out over the holidays, which was not fun, but we we're able to look at some great prices and decide on a couple units and now we just have to decide if we're going to uncap the gas line and go gas or continue using electric but in the meanwhile I wanted to clean up the wall a little bit and to put up a new rack so as you can see there had been some art in a previous rack here several years ago so we just wanted to get that taken care of and then in terms of the e-cloth that I previously mentioned, I really love these, they're zero waste and they will actually clean up with just water, no need for expensive wipes. I'll link it below, find out more about these wipes. They're awesome. And as you can see, here's Daniel just using an e-cloth and water, cleaning the wall and then attaching the 16 inch pieces of wood to the wall as a counterweight so that it's a little more sturdy in the kitchen and you'll need to put it at the top the middle and of course at the bottom. Now one trick to doing this, if you put up your shutters and then go back underneath and slide your third board, you're gonna make sure that you have it at the perfect uh, width and height and what have you for your unit as you can see here. It's just a matter of hanging them up to ceiling length, making sure that they are even and we did this by using the vent as a measurement for that. Continuing to add your screws to the unit, making sure to go down every eight inches until they are completely secure. And then of course, you know, make sure you step back and everything's even and good. And that is it guys. This was literally $3 for the screws, entirely reclaimed. What an awesome project. I had seen many similar projects on Pinterest and wanted to do something similar to this. And so I was really excited to get this done. And for a fraction of what it would have cost me to go to say Anthropology and purchase something similar, would have been in the $400 range. So I am super excited to have been able to do this for $3 and save a few pieces from going to landfill. And then as you can see, Daniel is just putting up our two pans that we actually have, one for our convection stovetop and one for his grandmother's cast iron pan. And then the other two pieces that you'll see him in just a minute put up are going to be our pizza paddles. And we actually don't use them for pizza. We actually use them to serve off of. We'll do a lot of you know, dip or tahini or hummus kind of meals as wraps. And so we like to serve them right on the paddle. And that way, you know, everyone can just dig in and you're not having to wash triplicates of everything for every meal for the three of us. So we find it much easier to do that. And as you can see, he originally put them up like that and then changed his mind and liked it more in a diagonal pattern. And so he changed it out and I think it looks great. And so there is our $3 upcycled, reclaimed pot rack 
for our stove. Okay, everyone, please forgive us. We are losing light as this is afternoon, but we still wanted to come back on and let you know that that's it. That's our project, and we are so glad that you were able to watch us. And again, please check out the rest of the awesome ladies, including... Roxanne from A Guy's Life on the playlist below and give everyone some love. And also, I want to ask you something. What is your favorite around the house project? Are you into upcycling projects? And if you'd like to see more, either collabs or projects like this on the channel, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. And as always, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you can see upcoming videos on the channel. And as always, please be kind to yourself and to others and have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, my name is, I have no idea what my name is, hold on.